What's up, danger? Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, the highly anticipated sequel to Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And I think I wanted to see this movie just to see what the animation department was gonna bring. I remember being so vividly, intensely satisfied with how the first film looked. How it literally felt like a comic book in motion. Taking those motion comic books you see online or whatnot, and just blowing them out of the water with this combination of CG, hand-drawn, all of these different factors. And for the sequel, they pump that shit up to 11. They even make standard conversations amazing. One really good example I can think of, and it's the first one that got my heart going, is a conversation between Gwen Stacy and her dad, and the backgrounds just keep changing. It's emulating the emotion, the character's feelings, the dilemma of the conversation with these backdrop tapestries of changing and evolving color. And it's so good. And that's just a conversation. The animation of the motion, the humor, the uh, cameos, everything is just jacked up to 11, guys. Some of you may have seen that there's a certain sequence in the film that took four years to animate, and rightfully so, because there's so much happening with the animation. This film follows Miles Morales a couple of years after this Into the Spider-Verse incident, and he wants to reconnect with Gwen, but he can't because he has no means to until she appears seeming to just hook up and just say, hey, how's it going? But really, there's ulterior entities, factors, and dilemmas in motion. One of them being this character called The Spot, who at first comes across as a pretty comical character, a pretty comical villain, but they work him into the narrative so well, you think he's gonna just maybe kind of just be pushed off to the side, but he becomes much more than his appearance is to be seen. The same can be said of Spider-Man 2099, Miguel, played by Oscar Isaac. And I really like this character. Not only is he probably the most Batman-y of a Spider-Man you'd ever get, they make fun of it. They make a lot of really good jokes throughout the whole film. It all flows so well because this is a much more of a character based. There's a lot more conversations throughout the film. The film is about two hours and 20 minutes, but a lot of that is heavy conversations between Miles and his parents, Miles and Stacy, Miles and Miguel. There's a lot of really hard hitting moments in this just to dialogue and character interaction. And I think that's what makes this maybe a little slower, I feel, than Into the Spider-Verse. Into the Spider-Verse was a 7 out of 7 for me. From start to finish, that movie just had me going. It was consistent. I think there was a few moments maybe in Across the Spider-Verse where I was like, okay, I understand why we're having this here, but I would like the movie to get going again. I was enjoying that pace. I was enjoying that sense of adventure and comic book living large sort of mentality as the film does progress it does get to a pretty cool climax and a cliffhanger which for all of us who saw the trailers we knew this was coming we knew there was going to be a part one we knew there's going to be a part two which by the way part two is coming out in uh, march 29th 2024 so thankfully we don't have a four fucking years to wait but i do feel like this movie is just lacking a little bit not in terms of like a lot just lacking from being that perfection that best spider-man best comic book movie ever feeling that a lot of people have been saying i still say it's phenomenal it is one of the best spider-man movies ever made but i do feel that into the spider-verse is much more of a complete movie and that's kind of one of the reasons why that across the spider-verse has that little bit of a eh, you're gonna have to watch part two to get the full story out of it but it's still a solid film through and through it is incredible it is so fun to watch so fun to engage with i'm going to go back to the theater to re-watch it again just so i can see all of the other little details that i wasn't able to see the first time but i really enjoy just how much love dedication and clear clear respect that they have for the spider-man character and all of the characters and all of the different versions of spider-man that there are in the marvel universe 
and even out of the Marvel Universe, like the video games, Lego, all of that. It's really, really great. I do remember saying that the soundtrack was banging for the first movie. It's pretty good in this one. There's just not as many songs for this one. There's a lot more reliance on the score, which the score is really good. So don't feel left out on that. I just don't know if I'd buy the CD for this one. There is a good song at the end. There's a good song at the beginning. So there's maybe one or two in the middle. There's a lot more reliance on building the kind of the ramifications of what everything is and what this movie is setting up to be. Either way, Spider-Man Across the Universe is a fantastic movie. It's a really fun time. You're going to enjoy it whether you're a kid, a teenager, a young adult, or an adult. You're going to enjoy it. It's a really fun visual experience. Everything they did well into, into the Spider-Verse in terms of the visual design is perfected and even done better. It is incredible to see how some of these things play out and just the curiosity of how they did it because some of it just looks like it's mocap some of it looks like it's real just coming off the screen so you're really going to enjoy it i guarantee it but in the end i'm going to give spider-man across the spider-verse a six out of seven it's definitely going to probably be in my top 10 for the year i really really enjoy it and i'm really really looking forward to beyond the spider-verse which will be coming out next year but anyways, guys, those are my thoughts about the movie. What did you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, if you like this video, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time.